we say tourism and we make industry where we grow economy we don't want to. Plant the log at the tourist we come to and we true low blue ship. After three weeks we cyclone pam and we look for plant the chis along country and the first time we buy one cruise ship and we come with you can go passengers have a Chinese from this time some of the places where you know cut damage or only repeal the park after lost cyclone pam. Time tourists come outside on ship and be looking all beautiful ladies is stand up around on entrance with them on t-shirt we cut writing blow hashtag Vanuatu still smile plong show them say cyclone come and me karamatol house and me destroy them and the place where tourists have a good look but me not destroy them spirit more smile from all people where motor from all kita and me long coat you stand up more lipin karam title more long one time the happiest people long wall and yeah you want something Cyclone in a distram. I think you straight up the no cyclone is a big plan of cyclone tourism office. We'd like us a relaunch and destination bargain. Uh, so we'd like to put back no, uh, some major cafes where you missed up again from Australia and New Zealand. But we can say it's a good food class because at the same time uh, there's a lot of sandwiches back at home. Uh, anyway, what we'd like to make it like we'd like to start a one campaign where you call it uh, hashtag Vanuatu Still Smiles. So Hemi make it say we'd like to build building momentum bargain. Rebuilding Vanuatu after the cyclone pump. So that is the next campaign we are working on at the moment. Uh, at the same time, we will work very closely with them airline, all hotels, all two operators. We'll make sure that every package, every uh, uh, when they campaign we fly again, everyone is actually sending out a very strong message. Uh, but one thing I must say that Vanuatu was so lucky that even though we were hit by the cyclone uh, category five. But we rebounded within two extremes. I mean, at the moment, look at what we are. It's all green. Uh, I was out there. The old man Lopo only come down. Only ask him. Let me say, there was a cyclone. I said yes. We said, the place is so green. Yeah, and then we are so lucky that within three weeks' time we are able to actually uh, come back alive uh, and making Vanuatu look more fresher. Uh, so we are actually thinking now along some, you know, um, some tagline where we realize our Salem Vanuatu as like. Coming back uh, very resilient, coming back strong, but yet very fresh, you know, a fresh one want to back. All mama is a salam all anti-craft pack again, all taxi mo pass is a win small money, long tourists. Decision to let them pass century come sure, more look in place, and we follow assessment, long on specialists for Carnival Australia, through a consultation with them or local authority. Uh, Port Vila Cruise Relief Task Force with Government of Vanuatu we set them up uh, two weeks ago. I'm very uh, happy as we will work together with them, with the stakeholders, especially with the law, private sector, the tourism industry, with them, all agencies inside the Government of Vanuatu. We prepare in Port Vila, the arrival of the Pacific Dawn, where I'm starting with the email this morning. The tourism industry lo lo Port Vila, especially, has been affected big one, including the uh, island Botana, Tafia region, where some of the outer islands were affected. the tourism businesses are affected and that you must start prepare for arrival of cruise ship Pacific Dawn. I mean, no one uh, easy something a little bit. We've like talked with them about the taxi and buses, find them out if they got any taxi and buses are affected during the cyclone. We've like talked with them about 90% of the public transport are right. We've like also looked look, look at the two operators, well, it's the operator inside of Port Villa. We've like find them out if they got uh, plant the tourism business around the North Fatih, they've been affected big one. So the arrival 
of the cruise ship today are Pacific Town. And we look at the old tours, where old tour operators, small taxi, small buses, and we have a tourist call them, but we stop them all the way to the beach. And by the way, we go beyond the area from a place that we know safe. Uh, after the last session, we've been, we've been carrying out. There are places where by all uh, tours and stop them, we know who bar or not the fate. We got presence for police and we stop the area of Eton Beach with them who bar. We make them show us uh, any taxi or bus. We got them all tourists, but we know go beyond the point here. Um, we also work with them over the Mama's Market, the handicraft uh, area, and uh, you may look at all Mama Blue Ifira. Um, since we have falling rocks, we have cyclone, all Mama Blue side, the main wall, the cliff side, uh, you know, plant and we operate today because we are safe, we have the tourists, and we have a visit to the areas here. All Mama will operate them on the side of the salt water, and we have operate there. We have also set them up on the market tent, the town, the green space next to the fresh food market, the Honorable Mama, the Port Villa town, Shanghai, Kita melalui mama beli viral, saya fikir saya tak boleh beli. Kad opportunity ya beli taksi untuk pas, saya fikir kerap turis di visit moga ta. Yumi kerap beli kim sepan untuk handicraft market, mata mau handicraft market, mau sabda beli handicraft outlet, outlet lo port bilat tahun, still operate lo. Saya fikir provide dia ma. Service plus salam untuk souvenir kalau turis. We will like to begin. We will look at support. We have another police force through the traffic unit that we provide them. No time to make them show us. You know, got any tensions? You know, got any disturbance? Yeah, below arrival, below cruise ship. We will also tell them thank you to the support below Port Vila municipality with them chef and local government below handle them situation below talk talk below get all taxi boats. We also got all Mama Blue Milo Fira. We will set up below make them show us. Even though we know we are safe, but you may still say provide them one nice for experience for all tourists. And with them here, we will continue to promote them a social media campaign where one of the tourism office and we promote them where we hashtag one of to still smile. We will like Klatuma say even though after cyclone, you may still smile. You may clap the one of the paradise and happiest place in the world. So we will ask them that general public as tourists and we stop go around. Lol. Today, so by me come and more cruise ships and tourists come to play. That you may continue to smile, more wave all tourists play me because economy blow Vanuatu by me have recover no more. Suppose more tourists continue to come after the cyclone. Long number 11 April by looking Pacific Pearly Custom Country, we show support from all passenger on Carnival Australia, long supporting on people blow Vanuatu after the cyclone Pam. We're looking the Pacific Dawn's the first one back today, as you said. The, we've got the Pacific Pearl coming on Saturday. We're hoping for Port Villa that the schedule will return as it was originally scheduled. So we're sending out at the moment weekly updates for the next two months on the cruise ship activity. So um, if anyone is not receiving those emails, they need to contact the Department of Tourism. So every Friday there'll be a schedule update. But we're hoping for Port Villa that the cruise ship schedule will return for all pre-booked tours that were coming here will remain uh, scheduled to come. Probably important to mention is uh, through TCPAM down at Mystery Island the infrastructure was completely destroyed and there's a, a, a plan underway to have that uh, tender jetty back operational for a port call on the 26th of this month. And then uh, once again importantly for our tourism industry is the Pangi, the land diver at Pentecost. There's a cruise ship scheduled up there on the 21st. So we have another plan which uh, Carnival Australia are supporting the installation um, and the, there's about 150,000 Australian dollars being spent to uh, have a temporary facility put back in at Pangi, which is the 21st of this month. So not only Port Villa but outside both in the southern and some of the northern ports, there's massive work underway to restore our cruise ship industry. I think the motto that the Vanuatu Tourism have us of us, Vanuatu still smiling, is, is pretty crucial we all adopt that. Um, people, what we'd like people to hop back on the cruise boats is say, you know what, Vanuatu got smashed by the cyclone. It was really bad, destruction everywhere. But the people are happy, the people are building again, the people are back on with tourism, and, and that all comes down to you and I. We need to come together and operate in the true Melanesian way come together as one big family to have a united face. As I say sometimes on the radio that Manawatu is the pot of gold of the Pacific. And, and we are the pot of gold of the Pacific. We're the jewel in the crown of the Pacific. We need to be proud of that. We need to come together and, and work together to have a happy appearance of that. Uh, the cruise ships will be our road out of this economically. We have international aid of course, but for Business Blue Yumi, 
the cruise ship tourism is crucial to get us back on our feet. Ship in Okaram no more tourists, but he give him two humanitarian support. We look him only work together with them on international agency alongside long infrastructure. We make him sure the cruise ship is a victim on Nara Island too. Anuato, it's our second trip. It's our very first call. We are able to disembark passengers, operating a, a regular call with excursion and uh, having people off the ship regularly. Uh, we came in um, the first time just to bring a bit of um, help, humanitarian aid. Uh, we had an uh, equipment machine and this commitment from our company, PND Australia, um, which is value the island. Um, historically, we're coming here since many, many years. It is a, a very prominent uh, uh, place in our itinerary and we want to keep it so. Um, we also employ people from the island, so we have a very tight connection with, with the people of the Vanuatu and uh, we want to keep it up. So how do you feel uh, seeing the people here now that you have... We feel welcome. That is the, a part of the, the band that you put it up, which is very nice, but we always feel welcome uh, every time we come here. Uh, people are very friendly and uh, we feel that almost part of the community. Also, definitely as, as a cruise line we are. I think we are. We've come in since many, many years. How many tourists? But you have in the ship right now. We had um, a full ship this time. Um, we're looking into 1,900 passengers. Uh, so, and uh, we had today on tour. Today we're almost uh, 900 people on organized tour from the ship. So it's quite a quite a good number. Carnival Australia, when you operate in piano cruise, you make one commitment from 300,000 dollars where he call on Save the Children Relief Effort Long Country. And may include him $150,000 where he come out on foundation of the German Block Carnival Corporation, Mickey Addison. With them arrival to the Pacific Town today, we're looking on passengers at the Grand Shore, issuing one important sign, seven more to save a copa to no more life back again after the hard time the country could through long time, long time, long time, long time.
between Pacific Tone and Pacific Bell, but only carry together for the 4,000 per century. Pacific Tone, I am one of the ship ships that we have in the camp, and we visit the shows of Vanuatu. After the cyclone, we have planted destruction in all places. We have a good look at the sun, we have a green place, and we have a attractive park, and we have a lot of tourists in the country.